Anyway. Um, I really don't want to go over Stealthy Approach again. <laughs> or this tutorial area. But I will just in case because... Um, and the reason why I say that is... The reason why I'm going to do this over again is because if somebody comes in and they just want to learn all keys, they don't want to learn any percent, they will probably not go to the thing titled any percent beginner tutorial. They'll probably just go straight to the all keys tutorial. So I'm going to make this just straight up all keys tutorial. I'm going to go over basic and hard strats. So this is going to take a little bit longer, um, but I will not go over anything that is any percent and beyond. Um, what I will do is I will go and get the link for the any percent uh, tutorial. I'll get a timed link that starts at Dread Swamp Path, and I'm gonna have that be uh, in the description for this. And I want you, chat, or someone, <laughs> to remind me to do that. If you can, like shiny, if you can just like DM me that or whatever at some point, like write it down if you have to. I'll write it down again just to be safe, so I remember, so I can try to remember. The more people I have to remind me, the better the chances I will remember to do it. So link in description. Any percent timed link for levels after it all keys, I guess. I'll remember that. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and start it off here in a second. Oof, are you working? Will this work? Well, not. Alright, well, shit. Okay, so... Right, whatever, it's... It's gonna be about 11 minutes in. So I'll just go write it down. Uh, so, <laughs> thank you, Shiny. Um, this is gonna be a kind of more comprehensive, uh, tutorial than the Any% percent Beginner tutorial, uh, and it's gonna be for the All Keys category. Uh, I'm gonna be going over both simple and difficult strats for all of the levels. Uh, I will again try to note if there is a difference in the level based on whether you're playing on um, PS2 disc or the PSN download version. Um, I will try to make those notes as I can and try to explain the tricks as best as I can. Uh, again, I have opened up the chat to questions. I do not have it on stream this time like for the beginner's tutorial. However, uh, I will still be answering them and I will say the question out loud start to finish so anybody watching knows what I'm talking about whenever I'm discussing something. Um, I have splits for the entire run here. Uh, however, I will be stopping after the portion of the run that is different in all keys, which is uh, the mugshot boss fight. After I have completed the mugshot boss fight, or I guess actually after I complete the level before mugshot's boss fight and then explain how you're supposed to enter the fight from there, uh, I'm going to link in the description um, below the, sh below the, uh, the video, I'm going to link the any percent tutorial. Uh, and I'm going to try to set up a timed link so when you click on it, or when you tap on it or whatever, wherever you're viewing the, the tutorial from, it will take you to that spot in the any percent tutorial because all keys and any percent are the exact same after you have started the mugshot fight. It's like once you enter the fight, any percent and all keys are the exact same. It's only everything before mugshot's boss battle that's different. So I'm going to try to do that and... and detail it out and whatnot, and I'll, I'll still like have watermarks for each individual level and things like that as it, as it goes along. But that's kind of just the general overview. Um, I will be linking these splits uh, just like I did last time on uh, speedrun.com forward slash sly1. Um, I will also, I guess, link that in the description. I think I did not do that last time, so I will go back and change that after this so that way they are, they're in both uh, video descriptions. So without further ado... Um, <clears throat> We're going to, from the menu, uh, as always, we're going to select, we're going to go to New Game, and you don't have to erase your game if you don't want to. I always do. I just leave it like this. Um, 
and you're going to want to start your timer uh, as you press X to start a new game, just like you would in any of the other categories. Uh, immediately after you do this, you're going to mash start, you're going to go down to load game, so I'm going to do this, you're going to bring up start, or options rather, the pause menu, you're going to go down to options, and you're going to load the exact same file that you started on. So if you started a new game on file 1, you're going to load file 1, etc, etc. So we're going to load this back. And what that's going to do is it's going to skip the cutscene. Now, if you are on PSN, you cannot do this. Um, it is very, very necessary that you understand this. Whenever you are playing on the digital download version of the game, or the HD collection, like, disc or whatever, you can't do this. You have to watch this cutscene. And the reason why is you're loading... The reason why it works on PS2 uh, is, is kind of weird. Um, you're loading the game, and then after you load the game, it's still, like, running. Like, the file is still running, and it views the cutscene. Like, it loads before the fade-out. So anything you do after the load still counts. Uh, and that's why it works. They, they fixed that on the collection. That's why certain things don't work on the collection that work on PS2. Uh, anyway, you're going to come over here, and you're going to get up on top of this right here. There's many different ways you can do this. It's all just preference on the route and whatnot, but there is a, a set route, but you know, it doesn't really matter. And you're going to aim for this corner, and you're going to double jump. Now, you don't have to delay your second jump too much, um, just a little bit, to get up here. And when you ledge grab, um, you're going to just tap X to get up here. Now, there are two ways you can get off of the ledge grab. You can tap X like that, or you can press X and then push in any direction that you want to go. Um, tapping X, uh, I will explain when you need to just tap X. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> From here, we're going to jump out and to the right, so we're going to jump and hold uh, upright on the left analog stick. And then after about a half a second to a second, um, you'll just have to get the feel for it. it it's not too difficult to get down. Um, we're going to jump uh, back left towards the wall underneath this little vent thing in front of me. And we're going to try to slide underneath a death plane uh, that's right here that's invisible that kills us when we land on it. We don't want to do that. Uh, so it should look something like this. And that's honestly very easy. Um, it seems like something that would... And it, it, it is a little tricky to get down. But once you have it down, uh, it's very, very simple. And doesn't take too too much to... You know, get, you just keep going. Uh, and you're gonna come up here, and you're gonna end the cutscene like normal and watch it. Um, however, on PSN, and I believe this works for every again, animated cutscene like this, an uh, you can hold the PlayStation, PlayStation button well down she took it. and quit the game. Finally, the secret and when you load, like, and you can select a thing or whatever, uh, and With it this, should take you I could to the family and regain possession of I our most valuable treasure. I think you might have treasure. to save before you do this one. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing uh, on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long me, line of master thieves who I'm kept not all their secrets of sneaking certain. and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Thank you for saying something, Sparkles. I did indeed forget to do that. Thank you for saying something. After all. No audio should be good now. <laughs> I forgot to lower that. Normally I do all this prep stuff beforehand, but I was a little rushed. I, I rushed myself and forgot. Um, so thank you for telling me that. Um, hopefully nothing got missed there. Uh, I was just saying that if you were on PSN, I think this might actually be the only cutscene you can't do this on. Uh, I don't know for certain. I would check out... Um, <clears throat> there are two runners that I know for certain run on the uh, the collection on PSN, and that is Gniston6 and Talvindiris on the SR.com leaderboards. So it's speedrun.com slash light1. Again, I'll have it linked down below. Um, their runs on the leaderboards run on the collection. So if you want to check out and make sure you're doing things correctly if you're running on the collection, because my knowledge isn't of the run on the collection isn't perfect, I would definitely check out their runs. They'll be a little bit more knowledgeable than me. Granted, they don't do all... Well, Talvindiris did all keys. Um, I think it's just Talvi now. Uh, T-A-L-V-I. Uh, you should be able to see. I think he's the only one that has done all keys. But that's what I would do to make sure you're doing this right. <laughs> Here you want to mash X during the end of the cutscene. Uh, I was distracted. Bentley is just going to tell you a bunch of nonsense that you don't need to know. Because that's what Bentley does. That's why we skip all of those cutscenes. <laughs> uh, 
And you want to be mashing X again right here just to be optimal in the hideout and then press right and mash X again. It's just simple stuff. Do the minioning as quickly as possible. It's it's not the road trip gave me the not rocket science. To study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, um, this hot-tempered frog. Like I said, I don't think the first one you can skip, but I might be wrong. But all of the rest of them, the except um, the animated cutscene that describes Clockworks area. Uh, all the other four, I do believe, are faster to reset the game. So you hold down the PlayStation button to bring up this menu. And instead of, well, <laughs> mine's in German. It should say quit game. Uh, at the very top, you will quit the game, and then you will just reselect it, and you're good to go. Um, you don't need to have your system language in any fancy language, um, unless you are running on the PSN version, but that's for another video. I will... Uh, I or another runner um, will get around to explaining that uh, for future reference. Or you can just ask anybody that runs the game. <laughs> We are all willing to answer your questions or point you in the direction of someone who can. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come over here to this sign in Stealthy Bridge. And where did this first E is at and keep out? Um, you're going to get behind the sign and you're going to position Sly and like kind of run in and point Sly at that second E. And now that is like the best launch you can get. Um, normally you're going to get just enough height to get up here and land on this or ledge grab this and jump up um, when you do this you're gonna push direct like push towards this thing and you're just gonna jump up against it and you'll do what's called a slope jump uh, which is where you jump up an angled wall and it gives slide just a little extra height um, so you can get up here uh, if you get that much height you know you can just just land up here uh, and you're just gonna run towards this little point just like slightly to the left of this little point point. and um, I always jump up here just to make sure I'm 100% safe Excuse me, and then I double jump off, and you should avoid landing on the death plane. Should be good to go. Um, <clears throat> from here, you're gonna double jump onto this. Um, you can make this with or without a ledge grab; it doesn't matter. And then you're gonna jump up here like this to get up here. Uh, if you cannot do that, or you're finding it a little troublesome, uh, don't worry. Just jump up here and just just either walk up here or jump off and just, just come up here. Uh, you can go left or right here, it does not matter. Just make sure you do not break these bottles. Uh, if you break these bottles, you trigger a cutscene with Bentley. Uh, and if you are optimal, by the time you get up to where we need to do a, a different cutscene skip, uh, Bentley will not have stopped talking yet, and you won't be able to do the cutscene skip. So just make sure you don't break those bottles, and you, you're good to go. <clears throat> now, this, uh, this is a cutscene skip that has... Um, this is one of these one of the things in this game that I like to say has an infinite number of setups because there truly is no correct way to do this. I've seen people, you know, jump and slide off. I've seen people just walk to the left, I've seen people walk to the right. I've seen people come way over here and come at it straight on. There's an infinite number of ways to do this, but essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be walking into a cutscene where a slide with his binocicom like this. And while he's in this animation of opening the binocicom, we're gonna have him slide off with his momentum, off and die, uh, skipping the cutscene. And it should look something like this when you, if you do it correctly. And so long as the Binocicom has opened, even if it's just for what seems like one second, not even a second, even a half a second, so long as the blue like outlines for the Binocicom has opened and then shut, you, you know you, you're good to go and you got it. Um, like I said in the any percent tutorial um, for this level, uh, you can go down here and do this, but it's really slow and there's a cutscene you have to watch, and there's really no reason to do that because this trick isn't that difficult. Uh, so I'm always going to recommend, even to new runners, uh, to do this trick. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to jump on this rock, and we're going to jump up here on top of this little lamppost, and then we're going to jump backwards and try to ledge grab up here, and I'll show you what it looks like. Now, <clears throat> when you're doing this, when you ledge grab this, you don't want to be mashing X. I messed up in my other tutorial, and I need to go and fix it. Um, you don't need to mash X, you just need to make sure you get this and then tap jump up here like this. If you are too low, um, you can tr 
try to save yourself, um, but you'll you'll know once you've gotten it. Um, so I just kind of just tap it a little quickly. Like as soon as I hear the ledge grab sound, that's when I just uh, double tap X, and you should always be able to get up here. Um, when you're doing this, once you're up here, uh, and you don't have to jump on the rock, I do. It just makes it a little bit easier. Um, you want to kind of have slide position like this. Uh, you don't need to. This isn't extremely precise. Um, it's a lot easier than it seems like it should be. Uh, and you're just going to hold down and like slightly to the left. And you should ledge grab every single time. <clears throat> Once you're out here, you're going to want to follow. Um, well, you're going to come up here and you're going to double jump over here. And you're just going to walk to to right here. Um, there's a little gap right here. You don't want to fall in this. If you fall in this, uh, you want to come back and just jump right back up here and you're good to go. But you want to double jump over that. Um... And you can make that with a single jump if you want. It's faster to single jump it, but it is a little bit more difficult. Uh, and you're just going to follow my exact movement. Um, if you need help while you're still learning, there's a little seam right here. Um, I always try to stay even to the scene as I, even to that seam as I can. And you're just going to double jump over this. And then once you've gotten over this, I always aim for this little like outcrop of rock. And I just run straight towards it. And then once you're here, you should fall down. And then once you've fallen down, you're just going to run like this. And you will land on the opposite side of this railing. And on the opposite side of this gate uh, is where the cutscene is that we skip. And from here, uh, you're just going to complete the level like normal. That was bad. Don't do that. <laughs> just muscle memory. You want to wait. Just Sit here and wait, and you'll be good to go. <clears throat> now, um, I'm going to go over some, some more difficult stuff, and I'm going to make it into a separate video. Um, so, uh, yeah, because this level, this level and a rocky start are both done in any percent, so I'm going to add them into a separate video. Um, there's really nothing in this level or a rocky start that is worth your time in all keys um so honestly i would just kind of ignore it and just come down here and finish the level like normal if you happen to get spot spotted by one of these spotlights try to get spotted here um you want to break this and jump at the same time like double jump and you should be able to clear the gate before it goes all the way down it saves about a second um and there's, there's no reason to not just like do it. Uh, these gates, you will see um, two of them, I guess, that behave like this. Um, whenever you go to unlock these, uh, you want to swing your cane as you're running into them, and it will preserve a little bit of your running momentum, and you'll kind of slide and get a little closer to the gate. It's one of those things that's free, so you might as well go for it. Um, and yeah, that's uh, that's the first level. Now that we've completed it, uh, you're going to want to load the game, you're going to pause, you're going to go down to options, and you're going to load the same file that you were running on. And what this is going to do is every single hub in this game has a set point that you load to. Um, we were way over there, way over there. Uh, so by loading the game, we have skipped all of this portion down here. Uh, now that we're here... Um, since we are doing all keys, uh, we are going to run straight to the left over here to the level called Into the Machine. <clears throat> now, this is a difference that I don't know if is true. Um, I am fairly certain that you cannot load the game to skip any cutscene that you would load back into. Um, so... I would just, like I said, check out uh, that other runner or just test it for yourself. If you run into this cutscene, um, there's a cutscene right here. It's faster to load the game to skip this cutscene um, than it is to watch it. So if you're on PSN, uh, on the HD collection, and you load the game and you walk into this cutscene and it doesn't, it isn't skipped, and you're wondering why is my cutscene not skipped, uh, the cutscene's only about seven or eight seconds. So Honestly, I'm fairly certain it's just faster to just watch it um, than it is to try to find another workaround, but mess around with it yourself. 
I, like I said, I don't know and I don't own the collection, so I can't try things out myself. Uh, this level is fairly straightforward. Uh, a lot of it is cycle-based. Um, not a lot of it. Some of it is cycle-based, uh, like this first this first thing up here. Um, so I'm I, I guess I'm just gonna kind of explain it. Um, uh, you know, I'm just I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do this this first opening movement the way that it should look. I try to explain it as I go through it. So I saved the game there to, to save having skipped the cutscene. Uh, if you have to load the game uh, after, you, if you've loaded the game to skip something, uh, and you do not save after you have done that, if you load the game a second time, it will re-put that thing back. So, for example, that cutscene, uh, I loaded the game to skip it. So, if I loaded the game a second time without saving, the cutscene would be put back. So, if you have to do things like that, or if uh, I collect a charm inside a level, and I load the game um, without saving that charm having been collected, I will not have that charm. Um, you don't have to worry about that if you just break the key case or whatever, but it's little things like that that are kind of weird intricacies about the game that uh, are worth pointing out. <laughs> so anyway, um, we're going to go through this like normal. Uh, the fastest way is to double jump onto this rail and jump down here. And before the cycle comes up, double jump onto the rail again, hit this guy. You don't have to hit him, you can escape him. You will need to hit this guy. And you should be up here while this railing is good. And you should be good to go like that. That is how it should look. Um, now you don't need to do that uh, at all. <laughs> uh, that's kind of more an advanced thing. But like I said, I will be going over advanced and easy things for these things, for like for the levels. Uh, you don't need to do that. You can just land on the rail like this and run. Just run like normal. Uh, you will have to kind of worry about this guy. Um, because if you're down here a little bit lower, it will be a little bit harder to jump over his fire. Which is why I jump on the rail. But jumping on these rails can be kind of finicky. Um, if you're not used to it. So I would just play around with it. If you feel comfortable doing it, go for it. Uh, if you're not feeling comfortable, don't mess, around. Don't, don't mess with it. It doesn't save nearly enough time to be trying to force yourself to learn how to do it. Uh, once you're here, you're going to double jump as far around this as you can and press circle. And as soon as you land on this, you don't need to walk anymore. You can just straight up double jump and press circle to grab this. Uh, after you up here, you do not want to jump and press circle on this one. If you do, this is what's going to happen. You're going to land down here. I guess I didn't wait long enough and I fell in the water. So we're going to have to, to walk back over here. But I guess I can show off with this what the, the faster movement looks like. A death in this first portion is very bad. Is very, very bad. Which is why if you're not feeling comfortable... Um, if you're not feeling comfortable with the rail movement, I wouldn't recommend doing it until you feel 100% comfortable with it. Um, because dying is just so bad. So what you're going to do is you're going to get up here real close. And you're going to circle onto the rail. And you're just going to walk until you get right about here. Once you get here, you can double jump around and you're fine. Um, from here, you can either double jump down to here or you can land on the rail. Um, whichever one you prefer. Oh, I'm so used to doing it from here. Um, <laughs> and failing. Um, so... Yeah, and see, and that's why uh, I say to, to not mess around with the railing if, if you're not feeling comfortable with it. Because now I have to redo all of this. And this charm is only here because I've died so many times in the level. So, yeah. I promise I will play much better and show things off much better later. <clears throat> this song is pretty much straightforward, you don't have to worry about anything. Um, I always jump to break these because it changes the hitbox on Sly's attack to make it a little bit easier. Uh, these guys, just double jump and kind of angle yourself to the right or to the left, whichever one you feel more comfortable with, and then press, uh, press square to kill them. Um, these things uh, bounce when you hit them, so it's faster to just like, kind of slide down between them. Uh, if you don't feel like you can do that, I just jump, um, 
I do a singular jump to avoid hitting either of these two and kind of land and kind of hit the bottle and like slide in between where the bottle is. Um, I don't really know how to answer that question about coins in this level, because it, coins don't really matter. Um, after you get a hundred coins, you get a charm, uh, and a charm kind of acts like an Aku Aku mask if you've ever played Sly Cooper, or Sly Cooper if you've ever played Crash Bandicoot, or a, uh, a Sparks in Spyro if you've ever played Spyro, it's an extra hit. Um, after a hundred coins, you collect one of those. If you have a silver charm, that's that's one hit. A gold charm is two hits, and if you have a gold charm, you get an extra life instead. That's all I can really explain about coins. It really doesn't matter at all until you get very advanced levels of any percent. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't matter. And you just break this one, and if you are lined up for it, uh, I'm gonna die to reset the cycle so I can show you what it looks like. But you can just kind of do this stuff and just walk. Uh, this one. If you want to go for this, it does save a second. Uh, I do not recommend it until you are a little bit, uh, I guess, a little bit more comfortable with movement and whatnot. But you can kind of cut this and make that, and then you can make this, and you, you can also make that third one. But you have to wait for the last one, and then you're good to go like that. <laughs> now, this is something you're gonna have to get used to uh, in Sly Cooper: is momentum storage and cane jumps, as uh, the Rixer dubbed him, dubbed them, uh, which I, I kind of like. Um, it's when you press circle um, to latch onto these, and then pressing X as Sly like, latches back onto it, which stores your momentum and your height wherever you're at, so you can get a little extra height and a little extra oomph into your jump. Um, if you want to be quick when you're doing this, you have to learn how to do this. Um, I'm a little bit off my game, because I haven't played Sly 1 in a very long time. Uh, you don't have to do that, you can just wait for each cycle, but it's incredibly slow. As you've seen, I skipped a lot of cycles and I wasn't even doing it properly. Um, but it's very worth your time to learn how to do that. <clears throat> now, make sure I have a life, okay. Then kill this guy. And this is how I do this normally, I just jump and swing to hit the bottle so I don't break it and lose my momentum like with Sly's character model. Uh, I'm just going to keep running. And up here, uh, we're going to do a death abuse. Um, I'm going to jump about halfway through this pipe uh, so I can do this the most optimally. Uh, I would just recommend being careful and I would just walk off right about here. You want to make sure you get close enough to trigger the checkpoint and die, and then you're going to mash X. Just mash the heck out of it. So when you respawn, you get the, the super fast jump like that, and you get launched up. And when you do that, um, you're going to hold upright on the analog stick, and you should, if you did it correctly, land up here and be able to, well, land up here and be able to jump up here like this. Uh, if you have... If you can't just if you just can't figure it out, um, feel free to ask in the comment section. Uh, I will see anything you guys ask and whatnot, uh, and I will be able to, to kind of try to further explain it a little bit more. Uh, or you can always like ask me uh, or another runner to try to explain it a little bit better. Um, from here, you're just gonna latch onto this and complete the level like normal. There's nothing fancy you have to do here. Um, you can jump off of this at like specific times to get a little bit of a little momentum boost. Um, I guess one thing to point out with these, these are very finicky. Uh, I would recommend just double jumping and swinging your cane and not trying to like push forward like I do. Um, so that way you don't die. You don't lose nearly that much time, maybe, maybe a half a second each event. Um, and you don't have to worry about dying, because dying at this point is very sad. <laughs> Make sure you double jump onto this, and then we're going to do this. Um, this is just the key animation skip, it's very simple. Uh, when you press square to attack the key, uh, the key like little case things, uh, you press pause immediately afterwards, not at the same time, but as quickly as you can afterwards, and you should break the vase, and the screen will go dark and the autosave will pop up in the bottom left. If this has happened, you can go just go straight down and hit exit level. Um, if you messed up, or 
Sh you should always be able to do exit level. Uh, if Sly has swung his cane more than halfway and he has not broken the key case yet, or he has broken the key case and the autosave didn't pop up, you want to unpause or load the game. Um, because you will not be able to do it. Now, I'll try to mess it up at some point so I can explain that. Because um, it's kind of weird. Now, as soon as you exit this level, you're going to want to be holding down right. And the reason why is you're going to try to make this cycle. If you can't make it, just take a step back. You don't lose more than a second. Um, but it is worth your time to try to go for it. But if it even looks sketchy, just wait. It's, it's not worth it. And you're going to come up here to high class heist. Also, I didn't split, but whatever. We'll, we'll say I split. <clears throat> I always split when I break the key cases. Um, but that's just me. Unless you're here, you're just gonna... You're just gonna play this level kind of like normal. Uh, make sure you don't alert the alarms. You don't have to worry about it, but, you know. Just make sure. Uh, you don't have to break this, but if you don't want to listen to the alarm, you can, you can break it and it's fine. Uh, and come down here. You don't have to jump over this. I do. Uh, you can just single jump through the laser. And you can just single jump through these lasers. And the second set won't turn red and come back. Um, until uh, it won't come back fast enough, so you're good. You can just, you can just straight up do that, and you're fine. Um, if you were too slow, or you just don't feel comfortable doing that, you can still double jump over the laser without triggering it, and you'll be fine. So you need to double jump over this, or you can just single jump through it, and you're, you're good to go. You're just gonna come come in here like normal. And you're going to double jump to attack these guys. And you can even pull back if you're not feeling comfortable enough to make sure you don't get hit. But as so long as you attack uh, quickly enough, you, you shouldn't have to worry about dying. Um, here, uh, follow what I do. And just make sure that you don't trigger the alarm. If you do trigger the alarm, just play it safe. Um, here, I, oh, I always break this because I don't like hearing the alarm horn sound. You don't have to. But once I do this, I come up here. And double jump like this. Now, this is where uh, cycles are going to come into play again. Uh, this level is also, like, this end part is very cycle-based. So, I always jump around this. Um, if your camera's positioned right, you don't have to worry about it. And if the cycle is like this, you can just walk. If it's not, you can either wait, or you can try to just, like, cut through the center and not have to worry about it. Now, these lights, if they are like this... Um, where they're more towards the left and towards like the like the little pole in the center, uh, you can jump out to the right and around them without triggering them, which is the fastest way to do that. Uh, you can do that even if they're red; it doesn't matter. But just note that if it is red and you mess it up, you will die and you will go back to the checkpoint. So just be wary of that. And I did that because that was with the cycle I had. Um, if you have this at yellow, which I now have it at red, but if you have it at yellow, you can just walk through this one, or you can also just jump around like this. Uh, you, you definitely don't need to break that one, regardless. Once you get here, I always jump over here like... <laughs> Normally I have a little bit more momentum, so it's a little bit easier. I'm just going to run through it one time. The entire level, I guess, because the game over it. Uh, to just kind of show what it would look like, like normal, since I died. <clears throat> That was worth noting. Uh, if it is all the way on the right, you can still avoid it without triggering the spotlight, but it is very, very difficult, and it's almost just not worth your time. Because if you mess it up, you will not ledge grab, and you will still land down in the water. That's what that's supposed to look like. You don't have to do that. You can just jump over to here and just walk up, and you're good to go. 
Now, when you do this, you want to make sure that you get the autosave, because the quickest way to do this movement is to go to VMAP and go to Prowling the Grounds again. Uh, if you don't, you don't feel comfortable with it, uh, you can just exit level like normal, and I'll show both routes, but if you view map out, um, you're just going to walk over here like this, and double jump up to here. And you can either double jump like this and ledge grab this, uh, but you need to be right about here, and you'll double jump, you'll double, like, you'll do your first jump, and then you'll do your second jump and kind of push forward. It's kind of finicky, uh, to do perfectly. But once you have it down, you're good. You can also jump uh, here, and then just do like a little single jump to get up here more. Jump out towards the camera uh, by pulling down on the control stick, and then push up immediately when you do your double jump to get up here. Uh, and both both of those work. Uh, you can also, if you want to, I don't recommend doing this, but you can get up here and kind of do some weird stuff like that. Um, it's all kind of personal preference. Um, I'm just recommending what I feel is the best. Uh, if you exit level, uh, you get like a little slow animation where you walk out here, but if you do, uh, you're going to jump on this railing, and you're going to double jump down here. If you want the charm, you can jump from the railing up here, down to break the, uh, the thing, and get the charm if you want. And you'll still do the same thing, you'll come up here on the rail, and you'll just double jump to get up here. I always have so much trouble with this. This is one of those things that looks easy and is actually really difficult. It's kind of the opposite of some of the other stuff I've been explaining. And you're just going to end up like normal. Uh, here you're just going to run and just avoid the fires and whatnot. And on this bridge is the same cutscene that is in Into the Machine. Um, that's why the L1 pops up. We watch the uh, we watch the cutscene in, in the machine, so we don't have to watch it here. Um, we trigger it and then we load the game to skip it because it's faster to do that there than it is to do it here. Uh, I double jump from the bridge to hit that one. We're good to go. Um, now you can either jump from the the bridge. <laughs> Sometimes you'll get screwed like that, uh, which is why I'm going to recommend the other one when you're learning the game. But you can just double jump over here to like this and ledge grab and jump and stay to the right as like stay as right as you can. Because there is a cutscene skip. Um, no, there is a cutscene about right here on the bridge. And the trigger extends to about right around here. Like where the exact middle of the Banaki Com is. So you want to try to avoid that as best as you can. And then I think it's all the way over here on the left side. So you can't do it from the left. But I'm not certain on that. But so you can either jump from it from the middle. Uh, or you can double jump up to the rail to make it a lot easier. Uh, it's just personal preference. Maybe you're going to come up here on this, and you're going to double jump up to here. Very simple. It's not that difficult to do. Uh, if you can't seem to get that down, like that jump is just a little bit too much for you, you can double. You can jump onto this thing, and just double jump over here, and do the exact same thing like this. Uh, it's a little bit slower than the other way, but it is, it is a viable alternative uh, trick. Get more of these events. Uh, make sure you grab this charm. It's not imperative, but it is nice to have. Uh, and just kill the guards. Now this last guy, this this last part is very cycle dependent. I always kill him. You don't have to. Uh, if the spotlight is on the thing, you can run, and you don't have to worry about it. You can just stay on it the entire way, and then at the time the red one's coming back, you can jump off, and it should be here to hit it, and, and you're good to go. Uh, just mess around with this, make sure you don't get hit by the red thing and take damage. Uh, you can lose a lot of time if you're not doing that correctly. From here you're going to double jump up here, and instead of doing all that nonsense, you're just going to double jump right up here, let's grab this, and you're good to go. Now this is a little bit tricky because both of these things are right here, so you want to make sure that you're like closer to the key, like as close to the key as you can be then this thing or that will happen and you'll do the menu exit level and you won't have the key um, I'm gonna try to mess this up I can't I, it's so hard to like actually mess this up um, but I'm gonna keep trying to mess it up so I can show you what happens when you mess that up um, but here we're just gonna exit level 
and we're good to go. You want to be mashing X as you come out of this, so you can jump, so you don't have to fall down here. Um, and the reason why you want to do that is you're going to make a cycle with this guard up here. Um, now I'm going to recommend this because it's fast. Um, if you want, you can go over to the railing, and you can climb up the thing and come over like normal. Or you can just double jump from the rail onto this lamp and double jump up here, and you're good to go. Now, if you are fast enough, that will be what it looks like. You will run up here, you'll trigger him, and you'll hug this little wall. And for whatever reason, he'll like make sure he, like he takes a step or two to try to shoot you, and you, you're close enough to hit him and kill him. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable with that, you can trigger him and then walk over here, and he will attack the wall and run at you, and you can kill him. Or, if you don't want to even bother with him at all, you can double jump, you can like slope jump over this. Uh, it's kind of slow, I don't recommend doing it at all. Um, but you can do that if you want. Yeah. Now, I'm going to explain two separate ways to do this. Um, there's two separate ways to skip the cutscene. There is, excuse me, a very difficult trick called pipe jump, and then there, uh, which saves 30 seconds in any percent and then it saves about 25 in this category all keys um i will be explaining that after i explain the easier way to do it the easier way to do it is you are going to well okay so there's two things when you walk in this cutscene uh you'll see the slides opening up the binocucom to, to enter a cutscene if you are doing pipe jump which i only recommend if you are an advanced runner I do not recommend it if you are learning the game, if you are intermediate in any category. I only recommend it if you're an advanced runner because it is very difficult and not getting it is basically, it, it, it just makes it so not worth it if you do not get it. So don't, only do it if you're an advanced runner. But if you are doing pipe jump, you already feel like you've got that next step, load the game here to skip this cutscene and proceed like normal um, with the rest of the level. You probably already know how to do that, um, so there you go. Uh, if you are not, however, and you are learning the game, um, or just don't want to deal with pipe jump, I completely understand, you are going to wait until the cutscene pops up, like so, the cutscene is loaded, and then you are going to exit level. This will skip the cutscene just as if you had loaded the game. <coughs> now you're going to jump down here, and you're going to unlock the generator like normal. And you're going to break it to unlock the thing. This is faster than trying to do any of the nonsense we do in any percent. And you're just going to run into the cutscene. Whoops. <laughs> I'm muscle memorying it. And as soon as the cutscene loads up, you're going to press select uh, to bring up the menu screen. Uh, and you're going to go to Cunning Disguise. You don't have to do that. You can also press uh, start to load the game. And go down to options. Or go down to options. Go to view map and it will bring up the same thing. And you're just going to go back to a Cunning Disguise, and that will have skipped the other cutscene. And now both cutscenes are skipped, and you're good to complete the uh, the levels like normal. <laughs> you're going to jump in this, and you're going to get shot by each one twice. As soon as that happens, jump out. You don't have to worry about it. You will always be safe. Trust me. You'll always be safe. After this, you're going to jump and kill this guy. Now, there are two ways that you can do this. You can do this the easy way, and you can do this the hard way. I am obviously going to recommend the easy way if you are starting out, and the hard way if you're feeling like you need to have that extra little oomph. Um, I'm going to show the easy way first. After you've killed him, you're going to come back, and you're going to get your barrel. <laughs> you're going to be better than me, and you're not going to leave your barrel there. You're going to leave your barrel outside where you won't get shot. And you're going to come over here, and you're just going to play the game like normal. You're just going to keep walking off, and you're going to get shot by these. And you're going to jump out here. You're going to wait for this guard to turn around, and you're going to stand over here. So you aggro him, you don't get shot, and then you're going to kill him. And you get to go from there. Now, the hard way of doing this, which is what I'm going to rec or not recommend, which is what, <clears throat> what I do, and what all of the advanced runners do, um, I do a different version of this than they do, um, than, uh, than every other runner does. I'm going to recommend my version because I think it's a lot easier. 
you're gonna run out here and you're gonna double jump down here right here from here you're gonna jump out and around the fence and you're gonna break that if you do it right you won't get shot oh. I'm trying to explain it as I do it instead of just doing it so it's a little bit harder so here's just here it is start to finish uh, what what the level like what this part of the level looks like <clears throat> Oops. I don't know why I messed that up twice now. There we go. <clears throat> and you're good to go from here. And from here what I do is I run up the left side of this, because he'll always turn to the right, and you can get up here close enough in time to kill him, and you don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> from here you're going to come up here, and you're going to do what I called earlier a slope jump, and you're going to slope jump up this and get up here, and then you can just double jump up here and collect the charm. And then from here, you're going to single jump over to this, and you're going to make sure you stand on this raised up part. You have to be on the raised up part. And you're going to get a little bit of a running start and jump up here, but you don't want to hug the wall or that will happen. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to... It's a little bit difficult to, to kind of get back over here. Um, you're going to want to kind of aim a little bit more towards this like second bolt right here. Uh, and you should ledge grab if you've done it correctly. And you'll just jump right back up. <laughs> like so. From here, there are two ways you can do the end. Uh, you can do the easy way, or you can do the hard way. Um, <clears throat> the easy way loses a lot of time and loses your charm. It's basically you just walk in here, you get shot by them, and then you just run through with the invincibility frames. Um, the other way is you can get on top of this little thing right here, and you can just double jump. And they will open, but then they will close because you're too high for them to keep aggroed. Uh, and or too far left for them to keep aggroed. And then once you land, you can just break it and run over here to the key. And you get to go. Alright. Now we're down here. We don't have to unlock this a second time. We're good to go. Um, now. If you're doing pipe jump, you're going to turn the camera. Well, <clears throat> either way, you're going to turn the camera, uh, and you're going to do this. If you're doing a pipe jump without having already skipped this cutscene, you're going to wait until the guard does the thing, and <clears throat> you're going to jump out. This is very, very hard to explain um, without this guard here, so I'm just going to go kill the guard. Uh, that's something you can do if you do trigger him. You can jump up and kind of walk towards the wall, and he'll look around, and then you can jump back out and come over here and kill him. <clears throat> but basically, what pipe jump is, is there's a little space, I kind of see where I'm standing right here, there's a little bit of space where that L1 doesn't pop up. And we're trying to not have that L1 pop up, because that L1 pops up, that means that we have triggered the cutscene if we hadn't already skipped it, <clears throat> which is bad. We don't want to trigger the cutscene. So that was a successful pipe jump. As soon as you do that, if you're do like when you do this properly, you will have been fast enough. Um, as soon as you do that, you want to tap jump up here and kind of push slide forward just a little bit. And as soon as you land, a jump uh, and go back right on the left and the yeah the left analog stick and double jump up here. You want to delay your second jump just a little bit, and you don't want to jump too close to this wall. If you jump too close to this wall, you're gonna hit an invisible wall and you're gonna fall down into the cutscene trigger. You also want to make sure you do your movements quickly, but you don't do them too quickly. Otherwise, you won't get through each portion of the trick. Once you're up here, um, in any percent, you want to run and kill the guard as quickly as possible. Um, and then you want to make sure you go not to the right of this pole thing here. You will trigger the cutscene. Um, you want to come around this pole and jump down and then go and do the any percent route from here. Um, if you're doing pipe jump in any percent. Uh, and I will link... I'll try to link and say when the pipe jump thing is uh, and the other the other thing. Um, <coughs> you'll if, you, if you're doing any percent, you'll you'll get it. You'll understand why this little insert's here. Uh, otherwise, uh, if you're in all keys, you can just jump straight into the level and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about killing the guard. Uh, if you've not triggered this cuts or if you have triggered this cutscene and watched it already, uh, you can you don't have to worry about it at all. You can still do pipe jump. But you don't have to worry about triggering the cutscene. Um, it's still kind of finicky, so what I would honestly recommend doing 
is I would just come down to either here, um, out there, stop, slide please, and jump on this rail and just jump out and uh, push back in and try to land up here like this. Or there's a much easier version you can do up here where you land on this part of the pipe and you just double jump up onto that right there and just come over here and come up here to the level like normal. Uh, this level is kind of cool. Um, it is also cycle based for how these things work. <clears throat> so I'm going to reload the game so I can show you what it looks like optimally. But basically, I'm going to meet you over here. Well, Raleigh's talking so I can't I can't explain it. But I'm going to meet you over there by the like, the three ropes in the crow's nest. That's where I'm going to kind of pick up uh, the commentary at again. But I'm going to reload the game so I can uh, I can do this properly so I can show you what it should look like. Uh, you don't obviously you don't have to uh, do this the exact same way that I do, but uh, this is the quickest way. Once you are here, uh, you can either climb these ropes or you can just double jump up back up to them. And as soon as you get here, <coughs> now you um, there are three different ways you can do this. You can do it with the cane jump. Which is what I was talking about earlier and into the machine. You can jump up on top of this and wait for it to get uh, close to this side and double jump over like this. You can do the skip like that, which this is really difficult. Um, I definitely don't recommend doing that if you don't. If you can do the cane jump, if you can do the cane jump, I always recommend doing the cane jump. It is much easier. And there's a third way where you come down here onto this part, and I don't know how to do this, so I can't really explain it very well. Uh, I would just mess around with it, but I would wait. Like, you wait until this is over here to this side, and you kind of just do make the same jump. Um, but it's really difficult. You see, I just died trying to do it. Um, so again, like I said, I would just recommend doing the cane jump. And I'll go over what the cane jump is again. Yeah. <laughs> when I get up here. So, the cane jump is you're gonna jump and press circle and immediately jump afterwards. So, just like that. That's what it should look like. And if you do this properly, it doesn't matter where you are at in. Um, it doesn't matter where you're at in this cycle, you will always be able to make it. If you latch back onto the rope, you will not make the jump, so just try it again, like normal. Uh, I've also been informed that I did not split. Uh, it's whatever. You know how to split after you break the key or whatever. So, we are on Gumbo Graveyard. Uh, thank you, Augie. <laughs> From here, the fastest method is to come over here, like the fastest route. Um, provided you are quick, you will never have to worry about killing that guard. And you're just going to double jump up here like this, and just double jump on the vault and come straight up here. Excuse me. Uh, instead of going to the rope, it's faster this way. And I'm gonna try to, to do this the incorrect way, which I just can't seem to do it. I can't do it, man. I can't mess it up. <laughs> it's too hard. Um, you'll know what happens when you mess it up. You'll be all the way through the key base and you won't have autosaved. And when you do that, you'll you'll just load the game. Uh, to skip the animation still, and then you'll just exit level like normal. <clears throat> so from here, you're going to run out, and you're going to run to the left to fall down to here, and you're just going to be careful. Uh, just move in however you want. Just make sure you don't get hit by this guy. Uh, and you don't have to kill him. I always do, just because why not. Uh, and you're just going to walk into here. <clears throat> now, this is something I don't know about uh, on PSN, if you can do this. When the sub is right about here, you're gonna load, you're gonna pause, and you're gonna load your game. And if you've done it correctly, you should skip a cutscene that plays down at the bottom here. Um, I don't know if that's doable on PSN. Uh, if it's not, I would either watch the the cutscene, or you can view map back to the hideout, and then from the hideout, select this level again, 
uh, that might be faster than watching this cutscene. Um, I don't know. Just kind of play around with it and see see what works for you. Um, from here, this mini game is kind of straightforward. There are some ways to speed it up. Um, basically, these chests are going to fall down, and the crabs are going to try to take them. Uh, if the crab takes it, um, if the crab takes the the thing in, uh, you fail, and that's if it takes any one of them. Uh, Zinx in chat uh, has also mentioned to me um, if you're running on PSN. Um, you're going to wait until the cutscene loads, and then you're going to exit the level, and then walk back in, uh, and that will have skipped the cutscene instead of viewing map. So when you, uh, you'll you wait, come down until Bentley starts talking, and then you'll exit level, and then come back in, just walk right back in, because you'll be right there. So thank you, Zinx. Um, like I said, I don't know everything, uh, and this is why I'm doing these lives. <clears throat> when I'm doing this live. Uh, for the most part, uh, if you can... Angle yourself to where you can shoot multiple chests at once. Uh, it's not imperative that you do, um, but just make sure that you can, and try to stay as close to the center, so that way you can move about as fast as possible. <clears throat> make sure you are killing the crabs and you're not just letting them run rampant, but don't make killing the crabs your priority or you won't complete the, the level fast enough for it to be you know, worth your time. Like I said, always try to make sure that you can shoot multiple chests at once. It is faster, you do have two streams of bullets, and each stream of bullets does the same damage. <clears throat> and shooting um, shooting the chest with both turrets doesn't seem to speed it up. At least it doesn't seem to make any noticeable difference in my eyes. So I always try to aim for two chests if I can. Because uh, while each one does a separate line of damage, they don't seem to stack. As soon as you break this last one, you can pause and immediately go to exit level, and it will autosave as having completed the cutscene. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. You're good. You're good to go. Um, from there, you're just gonna come up here, and <clears throat> you're going to unlock uh, the cannon. Instead of doing uh, one of the skips because it's faster to just unlock the cannon because we have all the keys. <coughs> and you're just going to jump in and go to fight Raleigh. Uh, for this cutscene, I always wait for about a half a second after the autosave has popped up to start holding down the PlayStation button. And this is get, this is kind of weird because my system settings are in in, in uh, German, <laughs> um, but the fifth option down where it says Spiel and it's the Z word afterwards is that word. Uh, I'm gonna change my system settings to English so you can better understand what this is. Um, but this is reset game. If you are playing on uh, backwards compatible PlayStation 3, you will reset the game at this point. Uh, if you are playing on the HD collection, this one up here that says, uh, I think it's Spiel of Verlassen, uh, this is Quit Game in English, and on the collection, this is what you are going to want to select. Uh, if you are on PS2, you're just going to tap the power button on your PlayStation 2, uh, and that will soft reset your console, and you'll be good to go after that. Um, this cutscene is only faster to skip if you are on a slim PlayStation 2, a backwards compatible PlayStation 3, or a uh, the PSN uh, HD collection remake thing by Senzario. Because I'm on backwards compatible PlayStation 3, I should take the fifth option down and reset the game, but I'm going to quit the game so I can go and change my system's language to English because I forgot to do that. Uh, so I can explain these things better. And I will re-explain how these resets work um, once my system language is in English, because that is something that needs to be done. Uh, if you are on a backwards compatible PlayStation 3, or um, the HD collection, I believe as well. No, I think it's just a backwards compatible PlayStation 3. When you reset the game, your controller is going to turn off. Make sure you turn your controller back on. Don't forget that. <laughs> There will be a little warning that pops up to tell you that, but it can be easy to kind of miss that and just forget. Like, see right here, it tells me to press the PlayStation button uh, to turn my controller back on. 
during this cutscene is generally when I start mashing start. Uh, you want to mash start to make sure that you're being optimal. <clears throat> because there's nothing you have to do other than skip this cutscene with start and then resume game. Once you're here, I always come over here um, to do this to do this fight optimally. Just kind of like watch how I I manipulate Raleigh, I guess, to do what I want him to do. Uh, when you hit him, always make sure you hit him towards the center part. Um, the closer you hit him to the center, the faster he jumps back to the center. So I'm gonna purposely mess it up this time, so you guys can kind of see what it looks like when you mess it up. See how much longer his jump is to, to go back? It, it's, it's really, really slow, so make sure you're doing that properly. <clears throat> Otherwise, there's really not much to this fight, except at the very end, uh, which I will, I will explain. Now, this part right here. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable doing the fastest method for this, um, you should always have at least one charm here, uh, but you should, some for them, you should sometimes have two charms, so you'll have a golden charm. Uh, if you have a golden charm, the third and the fourth phase, you can take damage and skip that phase, and once you take the damage, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll go get charms so I can show that off, um. So yeah, I'll, I'll go and get charms so I can show what that is off. Um, but you could skip both of those phases, and then um, you can come down here, and you can load the game and hit him once he is shrunk during the fade out. And you will get your charms back, and you'll still kill him and skip the cutscene. Now, you cannot do this on PSN, because loading the game and hitting a boss to kill them after you've loaded the game does not work on the HD collection. So you have, like, this is only a PS2 uh, disc thing. Uh, even if you don't have any charms, uh, and you can't skip any of the different, like, cycles and whatnot, um, and you don't feel comfortable doing the other method, you can just load the game here and hit him during the fade-out. Once he is shrunk, uh, I generally wait for his tongue to have gone all the way back in. Uh, you see his mouth isn't fully closed yet, so it might be a little risky. We don't have to do that. Uh, the fastest way, though, is wait for him to shrink. And just like when you're breaking a key case, you want to hit square to hit him, and then pause as you're doing that. And it's it's kind of a little tricksy to get down at first, but once you've got it down, it's, you'll you should never miss it again after that. Uh, so you will you'll do this. You'll get the auto save, and then you'll just come down to view map. And I split whenever I do it. You can also split when you select the hideout. It doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> but you you should learn how to do that. Um, if you are on PSN, I highly, 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 highly recommend you learn how to do this. Because if you hit him and you pause, you'll get the autosave. It is a little bit harder because the game runs at a different frame rate. Um, it is just a little bit harder. But if you hit him and you pause and get that auto save and then you can view map you don't have to reset the game after you kill the boss to skip the cutscene like we're gonna have to do for uh, Ms. Ruby <clears throat> and Panda King um, if you don't do a kind of hard strat and I'll, I'll kind of explain that I have a video um, that I guess I can link down in the description but I will also I guess do it at the end of this um, kind of give just another in-depth like, in thing for it uh, so it's kind of a little bit more understood and whatnot. Um, you should only have to restart the game to skip the ending cutscene one time, and that should be Ms. Ruby. Otherwise, you should be able to do it properly. But from here, we're good to go. Uh, just come back down to the hideout. Split whenever you want to split. It's all personal preference. <clears throat> you're going to be mashing right on the D-pad, so you can come over here quicker and mash X. And you're good to go. It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. <clears throat> Again, if you are on PSN, uh, you can quit the game and reload the game to skip this cutscene. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. 
a neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. So he's holed up in Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. Now that we are in Rocky Start, um, to start things off, uh, I should have a charm, <laughs> and I forgot to get a charm, so I'm going to go get a charm real quick. <clears throat> now, if you don't have a charm, don't worry about it. Don't come back to get a charm. If you don't have a charm after defeating Raleigh, um... You forgot to load the game to get the charm back, or whatever it is. Um, don't worry. Don't forget about it. You're fine. Just complete the level, or just, just go through, and don't do the skip that I'm about to show. Um, going and getting a charm loses much more time than it does just watching the cutscene. So, there's that little, I guess, note. Um, starting out, <clears throat> we're going to come up here, and we're going to jump up to this little rock. And we're going to jump kind of up towards this, like, little slanted edge. And we're going to jump out and around this wall. Um, this is a little finicky. Uh, if you want, you can land on top of and, like, let, like land on top of the, the club car, like the four of clubs. Um, you can land on top of that if you would like. Uh, but you don't, like, it's, you don't have to do that. You can just jump around. Um, but it's a little finicky. Play around with it. Um, and you're good to go. When you're walking along this ledge, make sure you either avoid this entirely or jump over it. Because if you don't, you will immediately take damage and lose your charm. So be careful. And then we're just going to jump around here to the right like this. Uh, to skip having to do all that other stuff. And we're going to jump onto the mattress. And make sure you double jump to like land on this side of the railing. Uh, if you don't, it's, it's a little weird and slow. And just, just make sure you land on this side. And jump over here to this. Now, I'm gonna kill this guy because he's gonna he's gonna annoy me. I make sure I line myself up during this. I line myself up in a weird way. Um, so just kind of follow how I like, watch how I do this, and then try to make it work for yourself. Um, if it's one of those things again where there's there's a few ways you can do it, so figure out what's best for you. Uh, this is just how I do it. Uh, as you hit into the cutscene, if you've triggered the cutscene, uh, as you're landing into the water, you want to mash X. So you take damage and immediately pop back up here. Uh, and you're good to go and just jump down and complete the level. If you do not uh, hit the cutscene and you land in the water, um, you will slide all the way down here. And you'll jump back up and you should slide through the cutscene trigger, like triggering it, and land in the water again with the invincibility frames still from the first charm. And you'll land back up here. And as you come back up here, you want to mash X so you don't slide off a third time. Um, and you'll skip the cutscene. And it it's about the same as watching the cutscene. So if that happens, don't get like upset or whatever. Just just kind of continue on with it. Um, and just don't hand complete the level like normal. Uh, <clears throat> since we are in all keys, um, just kind of follow my movement like this normally. Uh, you can just make it up here. If you don't feel comfortable with this, you can land on the other spire jump point. But just jump up here. And run through this basically normal. Um, you don't have to collect this charm in all keys, so you can just skip it. Uh, 
and run through like normal. You don't need that charm at all. Um, if you're playing the game like normal and you're not doing it like me, um, you should be uh, you should be set up to get a, a coin charm in Boneyard Casino, which we are going to need. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable keeping that one charm that you would get, um, you can also have a charm in this level if you have a, a gold charm uh, from Raleigh, from Raleigh's world. You can uh, burn the one charm and go down to a silver charm, skipping the cutscene, and you should still have that charm, and you'll get the, the gold charm again in Boneyard Casino. Um, if you don't feel comfortable and you want to get that charm, go ahead and get that charm. It only loses a second. Um, and it, it's it's very worth that one second if you don't feel comfortable because you need to make sure you have uh, that charm. And I will explain when you need to have that charm uh, later. <clears throat> From here, there's not much to this. Um, we're gonna when we unlock the store again, we're gonna uh, attack into it to preserve some of our momentum and kind of slide a little bit towards the gate uh, just to make it save. You know, just make it a little bit more optimal. Save tenth of a second. It's extremely irrelevant, but it's free to do, so why not? Uh, from here, we are going to load the game to uh, do a load warp again. And once we load into here, we are going to, on PS2, we're going to load the game again to skip this cutscene. If you are not on PS2 and you are on the HD collection, uh, loading the game will not skip this cutscene because you will load directly back into it. So you have the view map, uh, you have the view map actually. Once the cutscene is loaded, uh, you can either press select and go down to the hideout, or you can pause and just go to exit the hideout, and you, you're good to go. You skip the cutscene, when you select, uh, you select mugshots turf, you'll be right back here and you'll have the cutscene skipped, just like we're about to do here. <coughs> From here, uh, double jump. Uh, this, this is kind of difficult, um, and I didn't actually go over this too in depth. Um, you want to wait until the guard's light uh, is about to touch your feet, and then double jump and attack on your way down to kill the guard. Uh, if you're not comfortable with that, you can jump on the railing to give yourself extra height uh, to kill the guard, but you don't have to do that. You should be. It, it's pretty easy to do, uh, regardless. So you, you should be good to go. Uh, from here, just gonna walk over here, <clears throat> just kind of follow the movement, just to make sure you're doing it optimally. If you if you need to to do that, and you get to go. <clears throat> um, this is another difference between normal and PSN. If you are on PS2, uh, you can just load the game. In PS2 or back to battle places, whatever. As long as you're on PS2 disc, you can load the game to skip this cutscene. Um, if you are not, you have to wait until the cutscene is loaded, if you are on the HD collection, and uh, I'm going to assume what Zinx said is faster again here, excuse me, we're exiting level and re-entering the level, or actually, yeah, no, no, that would not be faster for here, uh, for this level in particular, you're going to want to view map uh, back to the hideout, and then load back in. And the reason why I say this is if I were to exit level and I re-come back into the level, the cutscene will be loaded again. And I think that might actually be true for Treasure in the Depths as well. Um, I think that might have been incorrect earlier, because this cutscene should play again. Oh, nope. I was wrong. Okay, fair enough. Alright, so never mind. You can just exit level. I'm, uh, I guess I don't know that much. I just load the game, so you're good to go. Um... And yeah, <clears throat> like I said, if you're on PS2, you can just load the game, um, and you're good to go. You cannot load the game to skip the cutscene on PSN. I have never, I don't know that. Um, if you can just load the game, then just load the game. The reason why I say that is because if you're loading the level, um, you're reloading the level. But uh, Augie, uh, another runner on PSN, says it works. So just try it. If it works, good for you. Go for it. 
where you're going to want to mash at, uh, square so you can shoot this as quickly as possible. And all of these guards here have uh, preset spawn points. So as you play through the level, you will learn where to, to start pre-aiming them at. So you can kill them as quickly as possible or shoot them through the wall. Uh, I always make sure I shoot this right away. So I don't have to worry about it later. And then there are two ways you can go about killing this guard. I always shoot this in the back and kill him. You do have to wait a little bit to make sure he spawns. Um, if not, uh, you can just shoot him when he comes around the corner. But it is quicker to do it like that because Murray won't get scared. Um, but otherwise, this is basically just an auto-scroller. You can only speed it up by killing these guards quickly and efficiently. Um, and that just comes with the time of knowing where they spawn and getting your own feel for the level. I'm half done. <laughs> now there is one more spot here at the very end. And this is something that will, uh, <clears throat> just like, uh, at least I think, I I'm not actually certain. I want to say I was having a discussion with this earlier, and it's not. Um, I guess I can ask my resident PSN runner uh, to confirm or deny this. <clears throat> um, on PS2 and BC PS3, and uh, you're going to load the game here to skip the key animation uh, when Murray's about halfway to the road. Okay, so you can't. I didn't think you could. I didn't think that worked like that. So anytime you're collecting a key, you cannot load the game before you break it on PSN. Uh, just like that, and that's the exact reason why we can't beat the bosses by loading the game and skipping their cutscenes. Exact same. Uh, so on PS2 and BC PS3, you're going to want to load as you get halfway across the bridge. Um, and during the fade out, Murray will collect the key. <clears throat> After this, you're going to mash select to bring up the view map or mash pause um, to bring up the view map. And then you're going to come over here to Mugshot's Turf. And this is the fastest way to do this. Um, and you will have to do this jump again. If you don't feel comfortable with this jump and you don't like doing it, um, exiting level, like, like loading the game, collecting the key during the fade out, and then pausing and exiting level only loses a couple of seconds. Um, so it's more than acceptable to do that if you don't feel comfortable with this jump. <clears throat> From here we're going to run down to Boneyard Casino, which is probably the hardest level to do in all keys. Um, out of the levels that are only done in all keys, so out of the, the Hub 1 and Hub 2 levels. <clears throat> when we start out, we're going to come over here and hit this. And... Uh, if you're doing any percent on the PSN, you have to do this level, um, but it's kind of relevant. I'm going to come over here, and right here in this little red spot, I'm going to aim kind of towards it and kind of hug it, and I'm just going to jump, and jump down here. And we just kind of skip the entirety of the level. If you're uh, fast enough, his cycle, he'll be over here to the left, so he'll come to the right and kill him. But uh, that's what I got to, I got to do with that cycle. You can break this for some extra coins if you want to, so you don't have to. Um, now, uh, if you're doing this, the uh, if you're going to do this strat, you want to break this, and uh, you can collect the coins if you want to, you don't have to. Um, <clears throat> if you're not doing this strat, just play the level like play the level casually, like normal. Just run through this and come up and around, and we'll meet you back over uh, here. This is this is where we're going to meet at. Uh, if you're doing this strat. You were going to double, yeah, you're going to jump up here onto this pole, doesn't matter how you do it, and you're going to double jump over to here. I always get to about right here, and then I jump down to here to make sure I'm good. <clears throat> From here, you're going to get a running start, and you're going to take uh, a step or two, and you're going to jump out into the left and try to jump around an invisible wall that's just a little bit jutted out from this. And then once, you, uh, once you've done that, you're going to push kind of up right or like right-ish, like just right on the left analog stick. And we're going to try to ledge grab this like slot, like the slot machine um, lever. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. And if you're wanting to mess around with the strat, <coughs> uh, it's fairly advanced. Uh, you don't have to do it. It doesn't save more than maybe 20, 25 seconds, I would say. Um, 
so you don't necessarily need to learn this trick to, to run all keys. Um, it's just, I would say it's more of an advanced trick you want to work in um, once you get it down, but this is what it'll look like if you mess it up because I'm trying to explain something instead of just doing the trick. <coughs> this is what it will, uh, this is what it should hopefully look like properly. Um, worth noting, when you were aiming for this ledge grab, you want to mash X, as, you want to be mashing X so you can jump up here, and then you kind of want to push a little bit towards this so you can get up here and land on this. Um, I think I'm kind of screwed now. Nah, I'm good. Um, from here, you're going to just jump over here like this, and whether you ledge grab or not, you should be able to make this uh, fairly easy. This is pretty much the easy part of the, the trick. <clears throat> and this is where we end up at, and we, uh, we skipped all of running down there and all that stuff. And maybe we're just going to complete the level like normal. Um, there's not too much to this level after that. You just kind of play the game like normal. Um, <clears throat> make sure you kill that guard. Uh, if you don't kill that guard, he will snipe you regardless. He's very mean. <coughs> Sorry. Talking a lot. Uh, this roulette table... Um, Want to make sure you land in this, and then you're gonna double jump, double jump, single jump, and then kind of let go. Double jump, double jump, single jump, and like let go. So you make sure you land in here. And you're gonna jump up here. <clears throat> now, if you enter this level with a charm, and you lost it, and do not have a charm, load the game and attack to get the key. If you are not on PSN, uh, if you're on PSN, you're kind of out of luck. Uh, you want to make sure you definitely don't lose that charm. If you collected a charm in the level, but you did not enter with one, and you lost it, like, you want to save the game once you get that charm, so if you lose it, you can load the game to get the charm back. If you have the charm, just uh, click the key like normal and you get to go. You want to make sure you have a charm after you've ended this level. Because from here, we're just going to run over here... <coughs> Uh, this is kind of finicky. If you want to, you can kill this guard uh, to make sure you have enough time to do this. You can either land on top of this and jump up, uh, or you can land kind of over here and jump up this way. Um, I think you can also do it from down here. No, I think you can only do it from over here. Um, but yeah, th those, those are the two ways to do this. Um, I do it this way. Uh, I think only one person, to my knowledge, has it this way. Uh, and that's that's Ricky or the Rixer. Um, that's how he used to do it. <clears throat> and you're gonna come in here. There's nothing you can do about this cutscene. You have to watch it, unfortunately. So unfortunately, unlike a desperate race in uh, World 4, we don't have a skip, so we have to do this race. Uh, there are a couple of notes. Um, try to take the lines that I'm taking. Uh, it will vary um, <clears throat> each time. Uh, the routes that these dogs take is, is completely random, so you, it will vary, but I'll kind of try to point it out when I'm in the lead what like the routes that I'm taking are. Uh, whenever you get these boosts, make sure you're you're not using them before a ramp or in the air. Always use them while all four tires are on the ground uh, to get the most out of them. You can also use them around corners uh, because if you take a corner too sharp, Murray kind of slides and you lose a little bit of speed. But if you're boosting, you don't have to worry about that. You won't lose any speed. There are a couple exceptions to the boost rule. Uh, where I said you only want to use it when you're on the ground, and that is this boost. I always use it because, like right there, you ramp and you land and lose all your speed. Um, so I always use the boost while I'm in the air there, but otherwise I always wait until I'm on the ground to use a boost. Otherwise you want to try to avoid hitting the dogs and always try to hit the boosts, <laughs> unlike me. I'm doing a very bad job of collecting all of the boosts. Um, <coughs> 
You want to make sure that you are avoiding hitting the dogs and being unnecessary with them and making sure you're hitting all of the boosts and utilizing them properly. And the race should go about the same every time. Um, generally speaking, uh, as long as you are in first, first, second, or third, uh, if you are in third right around here, um, depending on how close first is, uh, is generally the breaking point. Uh, this turn coming up, if you can't get second in this turn, you're probably not going to be able to beat it. Um, and then if you are in second, uh, generally speaking, uh, this turn right here, right here, this turn with Ms. Ruby's like little sign, um, if you can't get it right here, you're generally going to lose. Um, if you cannot win <coughs> the race, if you can't win, uh, pause and restart the race. Don't fail it because Bentley doesn't know how to shut up and he's going to tell you that you're bad at video games and you, you, don't, need, you don't need his negativity in your life. You know, you've got enough negativity in your life, you, you don't need that. Uh, otherwise, just, just, win, just win the race. Sometimes you can get kind of screwed here and stuff like this will happen. Um, there's nothing you can do about that except be far enough ahead you don't have to worry about it. I always split when I collect the key. You don't have to do that. You can split whenever you want. Splitting is completely optional. You don't even need splits if you don't want them. <coughs> um, here is where uh, the route's going to kind of split for just a, a few seconds. Um, it's not going to split too heavily, though. Um, just a tiny bit. Uh, if you were on PS2 uh, or PS3, like the running on a backwards compatible PlayStation 3, if you're on PS2 disc, basically, uh, is what I've been calling it. Uh, you have the option, uh, jump up on this and don't fall, like me, and get shot. Um, <clears throat> you have the option to do uh, the mugshot catapult that we do in any percent. Uh, it is faster, it's about 15 seconds faster. Um, you can drive down here, kill this guard, and then you can come up here and uh, you can do the mugshot catapult. I went over this in depth in the... Uh, any percent tutorial so I think I can maybe I, th I think I know how to do I can I can try to I can try to figure out a way to to link to the tutorial so you can learn how to do that if not um, it will already be in the description down below um, anyway so you can go to there and just kind of fast forward uh, to where the, the mugshot catapult tutorial is at I'm not gonna explain it again um, being come down here and uh, you can just jump down right here. You'll just jump, literally just jump out, like back in bounds. Uh, the level right below me uh, is straight to the top. <coughs> um, so you'll jump down, and then you'll be good to go. Um, I'm going to go back in bounds, uh, hopefully, yeah. And show off the other two ways to do this. Uh, so if you were, you don't want to do that. Uh, you don't feel comfortable doing that, you don't want to mess around, I think it only takes 15 seconds, or you're running on PAL. Um, you can only do that on NTSC. I mean, you can do it on PAL, but it's very difficult. Uh, so you're on PAL, or you're on the HD collection, you can't do that. Uh, you're going to come over here, and you're just going to unlock this and do it the casual way. Um, going to hit this to break it, and if you want, it's going to drop a, a buttload of coins if you want to come over and get these coins, like 20 coins for free if you want to get them, you don't have to, though. Um, like I said, coins are kind of irrelevant. Uh, you're gonna follow my pathing exactly if you don't want to do that or you're on PAL or uh, the HD collection. <clears throat> this is what you're gonna do. Oh, whoops, I'm stupid. That's actually not what you're gonna do. Omit that from your memory. Uh, I forgot how to, how to enter this level properly. <clears throat> if you're on PAL or the HD collection, this is what you're gonna do. You don't have to kill these guys. Uh, you can kill one of them if you want. You're gonna come over here. You're going to come over here to this mattress, uh, and this is how you're going to enter straight at the top. You're going to bounce up here, and you're going to jump, and you're going to land right here. If you were doing the catapult, uh, when you jump out of bounds, you jump back in bounds, this is where you're going to want to land. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable, you know, just, you're a little risky, uh, you can mash circle when you jump, and you should land on one of these spire points, and then you can finish it uh, like normal. Um, <clears throat> and this is the level that you want the charm for. Um, 
You can either enter with 98 to 99 coins. Uh, you can get up to 98 to 99 coins or get the charm uh, in the level. Or you want to uh, enter with a charm. So since I have 98 coins, I can enter and I'm fine. Um, I'm always going to recommend to enter the level with a charm because it makes this a lot easier. Now, I'm just going to show off the movement exactly the way it should be done. Because there's no other way to do this. Um, if you mess up any portion of this, you can still go for it. And it'll just be a little risky. Right here, you want to make sure you do an extra jump instead of just straight up jumping into it. So that way you can get it. Um, I think I messed up some portion of it. So I'm going to load the game and I'm going to redo it. Um, but this is how... Uh, like I said, I... I it's how you kind of have to do There's no other real way to do this. And not doing this trick. Like, this trick isn't that hard unless you're you're not the greatest at super jumping. Um, <clears throat> but it saves so much time that it's just... I think it's very worth learning how to do. There we go. That, that's how you do it properly. Uh, I see no real reason to not learn how to do this. You're going to lose a very large amount of time. Um, the only thing I can really point out is when you're climbing this uh, the first time, make sure you get all the way to the top, <clears throat> and then as soon as you get all the way to the top, jump off and then start your super jump chain. Um, and like I said, when you get here, you want to do one extra jump, and you want to aim for just underneath the like little white part of the fender. Um, once you've landed there, you will super jump back up, and you'll hit the trigger for the, the cannonball, and you'll come back down here. If you want to get your charm back, you can load the game to get the charm back, but it is very slow. Uh, I always just do this and exit level, like normal. Um, from here, <coughs> uh, this is the movement you're going to want to take to two to Tango. Run to the right here so you can sneak up on this guard and kill him. Uh, if you're to the left, uh, it's possible you'll, you'll get hit and you'll die, which is sad. <coughs> um, here, again, this is just exact movement. Um, you can do whatever you want, but I'm just kind of showing off what, what the exact movement looks like. And you're going to jump up here into this cutscene. There is a very, very, very insanely difficult and stupid way to skip this cutscene. And I say all of these things about it because nobody does it. Uh, not to kind of be that person or whatever, but I currently have the fastest time in this category, and I have only gotten the skip successfully one time in hours and hours of trying to get it. <coughs> uh, it's something that I only ever go for in a run if it's just really bad and really needs to get this to get the cutscene skip. Otherwise, I don't I don't mess with it. There's there's no reason to go for it um, until we find a way to make it to make it you know easier to do. Uh, otherwise, this is pretty much just an auto scroller. Um, you can kind of speed up your own movement. Like once you do this, you can get up here. Um, you don't have to make that spire jump. Uh, if you press X as you land on the mattress, you can get a little extra height, and you can kind of skip it, but it is kind of difficult. Um, you can also do it by pressing square when you land on the mattress to get the extra height. Just kind of skip it. Uh, otherwise, um, just just do the spider jump. <clears throat> when you get up here, you want to jump on this, and you can jump on these and skip having to do any of the spire jumps, uh, but you don't have to. It doesn't save that much more time <clears throat> than just doing the spires. Um, yeah, it's pretty much straightforward. Um, this part, you don't need to land down there unless you want the other charm. Uh, so otherwise, you're just going to double jump and just mass circle until you land on this. And you're good to go. Here for this part, double jump and then press circle. And then if you have latched onto this, you can either immediately jump back off, uh, which is what I recommend because it's the fastest way to get up here instead of climbing it. Uh, or you can just kind of wait and just climb it like normal. And then you're going to double jump down here again. And you're going to jump through this and break it. Because it's the quickest way to get through here. Um, if you forget, it doesn't work. Don't, don't worry, it's, it's not that it's not that different. <laughs> Apparently you can break the door as well. That's cool. <clears throat> I never knew that. Um, 
This match just is very finicky. Um, if you land directly on this like this like little edge part, um, <laughs> I, I guess it's very 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 finicky. Um, oh, leave me alone, Mr. Guard. I'm gonna let him get back to his spot so I can try to show it off correctly. Um, <clears throat> it's very finicky and very weird. Um, but if you do that, uh, you can get up here without getting shot. Um, it doesn't save too much time skipping killing that guard. Um, it only saves a couple of seconds. So if... Like I said, it's, it's really finicky, so if you don't want to mess with it, and you just don't feel like messing with it, you don't have a charm to, to kind of just damage a beast through him, just come over here and kill him. Come up here. And just don't worry about it. Um, and I'm not going to explain how to not do this trick, because there's no reason to not do this trick. As soon as you land on this chandelier, just run, and double jump, and mash circle. <laughs> when you do your double jump, double jump a little bit out to the right. Uh, don't do what I did. <laughs> Double jump a little bit out to the right, and then start mashing circle after you've uh, pressed X the second time. <clears throat> you want to delay your double jump just a little bit, so you want to kind of aim like a little bit towards like, like see this ladder. We're gonna we're gonna land on this ladder and skip having to go all the way in the bottom, come back to the middle, run all the way in the middle. We're gonna skip all of that. It's very easy to do, um, but the chandelier like like you see these when you land on them, they're they're bouncy and finicky. They slide around. That's why you want to do this. As soon as you land, you want to just run, kind of jump out to the right a little bit, and start mashing circle, and you're good to go. <clears throat> when you get up here, don't jump on the mattress. Just walk out here. And don't jump after you land on these unless you feel like you need to. Uh, once you land on this, you want to either press square or X once you land on the mattress, and you get enough height to skip doing the other one. And you want to just land as close to this and just start mashing square to, to break the, uh, the key case open, and you're good to go. From here, uh, we're going to do the movement I did earlier on accident. We're going to come up here, and we're going to run over here to back alley heist. <clears throat> now, this level is very cool if you want to get super in-depth. So much so that I'm going to show off how to do it properly first, and then after I've shown off how to do it properly first, um, all the way through, I'm going to explain each... Uh, section kind of in depth um, with like easier and like <clears throat> things because this is a very uh, a very hard level so I'm just gonna kind of show it off jump around this corner if you do it tricks his cycle and you're good to go otherwise that's the only thing I'm gonna explain That is what the level can look like <clears throat> if you do all of the difficult things and you do all of them correctly. <coughs> it's one of my favorite levels uh, that we get to do in all keys that we kind of skip in any percent. And it really sucks. I really wish any percent did worlds one and two and skipped worlds three and four because those levels are a, a lot better. <laughs> like these levels are a lot better in my opinion uh, than worlds three and four. There are some cool ones in three and four, but for the most part, these levels are a lot better in my opinion. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, also I figure I actually know how I can do this. Um, this is uh, an example of messing this up. Excuse me. So I have broken the key vase. Ugh, excuse me again. Sorry, I ate before I started streaming. Um, I have broken the key case and I have not collected the key. If this happens, you can exit level, and if Sly's cane uh, or any of his character model goes through the key, it'll be very very slow. 
So you kind of want to like ju I would I would always just load the game, but you can't exit level, uh, and it can still work. But if this happens, uh, and this can happen even if you didn't jump, this can still happen um, without jumping. But if this happens, just load the game, and you should get it. Um, if this happens on PSN, you have to watch it because you can't load the game before you break a key case on PSN. You have to deal with it. Um, so anyway, coming through here, like I said, you want to jump around here because if you don't jump around and you walk, he'll have already been, he'll already have uh, snatched back, and you have to do some weird, weird nonsense with this. Uh, once you get right about here, is when I double jump to get up here to without ledge grabbing, and you double jump up here. You jump just, you just go up just a little bit if you want to be optimal. Just go up a little bit and uh, attack, and you'll you'll hit with your cane, and you'll get the bounce. Uh, you can land up here. Uh, you don't have to do that though if you don't want to. Uh, you can just walk up and just jump into it. Um, just a little bit more, uh, but you don't have to. Once you're here, uh, you can either double jump up here and then single jump onto this again, or you can fall down like I do, take a couple steps and double jump. And once you're up here, you're gonna double jump, and you have. Well, actually, you don't have to swing your cane, uh, but you can uh, to get up here. And you can break this if you have the correct like angle. You can break this and land. Uh, if you're really good, you don't have to break it at all, and you're good to go. Um, if you don't feel comfortable with that, or you just straight up miss it, uh, just bounce and do this like normal, and you're good to go. Uh, kill this guy, and when you land on this uh, this uh, AC unit down here, press square, and you'll go really fast uh, for a couple of seconds, and you want to break the bottle. Um, this spotlight doesn't matter, just double jump over it. Uh, if you trigger it, it does not matter. Just you know, you're good to go. Um, because if you trigger it and you're not doing this, the fancy skip, uh, you're just gonna break this, and you're gonna do the level casually. You're gonna just you're gonna just do the level like this. If you're not doing the fancy skip, it's very slow though. Um, but the fancy skip can be kind of difficult to pull off. Um, but just you know, just play the level like normal. Um, you have to do that. Um, otherwise. Uh, if you're doing the, the skip that I did, uh, you feel uncomfortable with it, or you feel like you need the time save, um, once you've landed over here, uh, just fall down. And if you want a uh, if you want a charm, you can come over here and you can get a charm. Uh, well, actually, no, you need a charm after you end this level uh, if you want to be as optimal as possible. So <laughs> if you don't have a charm at this point, come over here and get this charm, and then either save the game. If you don't feel comfortable getting this without losing it, uh, or you know, you know just, just whatever, um, there are a few ways you can do this. Uh, you can do my way, which is just double jump up and swing your cane, um, or double jump, push forward a little bit and swing your cane to hit the uh, thing, um, like so. Uh, you can do it that way. Uh, you can also just jump up and try to do it without swinging your cane. Swinging your cane makes it a little bit easier because it extends your hitbox up just a few more pixels. Uh, you can also kind of like jump up this and like slope jump up the wall a little bit, which is kind of weird. Uh, I think it's what uh, Sharo does. Um, if you've ever watched him uh, do like MTSs and whatnot, or if you've ever watched his full game runs of, uh, of all keys. Um, but I'm going to recommend what I do because I find it to be the easiest. Um, I could never get it any other way, so I developed my own way of doing it, which is just jumping up, pushing forward, and swinging the cane. <clears throat> From here, you can't, after that first bounce, get close enough to hit this. At least not in my, I guess, experience. I've never been able to do that. Uh, so you have to do one bounce and then jump up here and break this. <clears throat> now these AC units... You're going to press X and square at the same time like you're doing a super jump when you land on them. And why, why you're doing that is you're resetting your momentum so you have complete control over Sly. Because normally these AC units spit you out uh, at X speed and you just you know, bounce from one all the way down to the bottom. But if you land on them like normal, <clears throat> you can control where you go and you can do this. Um, if you mess it up and you have to do the, the stuff down below, like you mess it up and you have to you know, see how I didn't have any control there. Um, and you have to come down here. Uh, I guess this, this is how you do this. You don't have to kill that guy if you don't want to. Um, 
these you don't have to to circle at all. If you you know if you, if you hold true with your control stick, you don't have to worry about it. Um, but if you, if you don't feel comfortable, just just press circle. Make sure you get to go. Come down and hit this. Now I don't have a charm, um, which is bad uh, because you do need a charm. Uh, you don't need it, but it is the fastest way. So if you have a charm. Um, we're going to do the same skip that we do in any percent, uh, where we come out of bounds, and this is how you get to it on PSN, uh, or PAL, if you don't, uh, if you can't do the mugshot catapult, this is how you, you get over here. Um, this is how we do it on all versions, uh, because we're right there at the level, this is how we do it in all keys, in all versions, you just walk over here and do it. Um, otherwise, uh... Or like in, in, in any percent, it's it's different, but that's in the any percent tutorial you're good to go. Um, otherwise, uh, you're just gonna do the thing like normal. And I went over this more in depth in the any percent tutorial. So again, uh, I'm just gonna kind of do a little like refresher of it, and just kind of show you what it should look like. But if you want the more in depth description and analysis of it, um, just go and check out the tutorial and kind of skip ahead to where that is. Uh, in the description of that video, I have timestamps for each like portion of the of, like the levels, so just kind of skip to the mugshot catapult explanation, and then you know just come to this part. And I think I have it titled "Mugshot Super Jump" uh, in the description, so just do that. Uh, but this is what it should look like for reference's sake. <laughs> That's not what it should look like, in case that wasn't obvious. Um, but. <clears throat> It always takes uh takes like one or two attempts of doing something when you haven't done it for a while. And then when you have the charm, you'll land here and you'll damage a beast through the wall and hit the trigger. Now, if you don't have a charm, you didn't get it, or you don't feel comfortable doing that super jump, you don't have to do it. This is one of the reasons why I recommend all keys to people who want to learn the game. You don't have to do any super jumps, and you don't have to do any of the catapults or anything. You know, you, have, you don't have to do any of that stuff. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. Just come over here, and, uh, well, I guess you can't double jump down here right away. Um, and just come over here, and then either jump over this mattress and just land down here, and just do it, do it the casual way. Just unlock the thing. It only loses about 10 or 15 seconds. Um, and you get to go just, just do it that way. If you don't feel comfortable, you don't have to do it. Um, you're good to go. Just make sure you don't kill either of these guys, uh, because if you do, a cutscene will spawn right here, and it's very sad. Uh, but otherwise, you're gonna enter here, and you're gonna do, uh, you're gonna do the same thing. Um, I'm gonna explain how to do the reset thing. Um, like I said, wait a little bit, and start holding the button down. And <clears throat> now I'm in fancy in English, uh, so I'm gonna go over the resets again. If you're on PS2, just tap the power button, don't hold it, just tap it, and it should soft reset your console, and you've skipped the cutscene. Um, you can do this on slim and fat PS2s for this cutscene. Um, for Ms. Ruby, uh, since I won't be going over that here, I'll be kind of pushing you over to the any percent tutorial, and I do not believe I explained it. Uh, for Ms. Ruby's cutscene, you can only skip it on backwards compatible PlayStation 3s, and the Panda King... Uh, boss cutscene, you can skip on everything except, I believe, the fat PS3. Uh, they talk slow, but there isn't too much dialogue, so it actually goes by quicker than you would think it does. Um, so, uh, otherwise, um, I'm going to leave you off here. Uh, this is all that's different in all keys. Um, like I said, if you would like, you can quit the game um, if you're on PSN, and then you reset the game if you're on backwards compatible PlayStation 3. Uh, otherwise, that's pretty much it for the all keys, uh, the all keys explanations. Um, this is all the levels that are not done at any percent. So, if uh, or like I said, uh, I will link it down in the description. I uh, will try to do a timed link in the 80% tutorial 
where it'll pick up at the mugshot boss fight. And uh, that tutorial is uh, more of a beginner strat kind of tutorial. Um, so it'll be more kind of like beginner stuff. It won't have beginner and difficult stuff mixed in. It's just beginner stuff. Uh, but I am going to do a video on all of the harder strats in the game. Um, and all three of those videos will be up as guides on speedrun.com uh, for Sly1, uh, which will also be linked down below. Um, I'll have a link to the normal. Uh, I'll just have it linked straight to the guides uh, down below. Um, so that way you're good to go. And then uh, I might reach out to... Um, the uh, the PSN All Keys Runners, uh, I might piece, uh, reach out to them and ask if I can link their videos in the description as well so you guys can have videos of the runs for uh, PSN to watch. Um, I might also do that in any percent. Reach out to them and say, hey, is it okay if I link your video, blah, 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 so you guys ha you know where to go. Um, otherwise, you can just find it on the, the website um, if they don't say it's okay or if I just forget. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's where I'm going to leave you guys off. Um, Again, like I said, an any percent tutorial. If you have any questions about anything in the video or anything that wasn't in the video, um, just tell me. Either comment down.